in the whole world. I'm going to make her a couple of throw pillows. How pretty is that? So good. Rain coming because he's going to put granules down. So yay for that. I also, another thing that would be wonderful if I could get done today, laundry room. It has become a bit of a dump all again. That is on the agenda today. Hey guys, Charlani here. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today is a little bit of a GSD. We have a couple of projects that I want to tackle. I've got my, my throat coat right here. I feel as though I've been living on this for the last week. <laughs> so I am just now coming up for air. I have been under the weather these last several days and this is saving me. And I also gotta tell you, if you're like me and you have the same thing over and over again over days, it eventually starts to like the taste of it, the smell of it, <laughs> eventually makes you feel like a little nauseous. I simply stopped putting honey in this and it has made a world of difference. So throat coat for a sore throat definitely absolutely has helped. So I've got my throat coat here. We will go ahead and keep sipping on this throughout the rest of the day I'm sure. But we have some projects that I want to do. So I just went live and we did a plan with me but you can see that my desk, I literally just got up but my desk is a mess so I want to straighten all of this up really quick but it feels so good to have the week ahead planned out um i don't actually have anything on our to-do list today because it's kind of just a handful of things my daughter has moved into a new apartment and i'm going to make her a couple of throw pillows actually four throw pillows well covers so she wants two of this fabric and then two of this fabric right here for her sofa. So yesterday I went to Hobby Lobby and I got zippers. So we are going to, I've already got my sewing machine set up right here. So we'll go ahead and knock those out. This I also got at Hobby Lobby yesterday and I don't know that this is what we are going to do today because this is not Hobby Lobby. This is from Amazon and these are my favorite. They're just wall hanging baskets. I use them in um, one of my room makeovers, our guest bedroom bathroom. I have them in there and they're so cute, but I want them in my office somewhere. I don't know where yet, but I did get this shelf. It is super thick. Like, look at that. Really, really thick. And I'm thinking it's too thick. So in one of my previous videos, I showed you guys, we redid this. And what I basically did was we got a bigger table and I still ended up putting different stuff back here. <laughs> Even though I was able to move some of the things down, I ended up adding stuff to it. So what I decided, because I want ultimately a clear table, right? Like I just wanna be able to move this out and pack orders on it. And what I'm thinking is we're going to have a shelf right here. And I was also thinking that this could be a shelf, easy peasy, right? Just get it up right there, but I think it's too thick. I'm thinking that's just not gonna work. I was originally thinking we could just make another shelf like this and just put it down here. But then I was kind of like, I kind of want it to be different and it's gonna be a shelf that is gonna hold my laptop, hopefully the printer, we'll get stuff on here, we'll just take it off here and put it up here. That's the goal of it. So I don't know what kind of shelf I want now, but for sure, this one is just too big. Like I said, I have been under the weather over this last week, so not a lot has gotten done. I have Roxy helping me out right now. I did a quick Swiffer and pick up of the floors, but she is helping me vacuum. Another thing that would be wonderful if I could get done today is this laundry room. It has become 
a bit of a dump all again. I had moved some stuff out of my office. I'm thinking I wanna put that stuff back there. So I want to rearrange in here just a little bit, organize it up, and then decide on how I want to just add or change up the organization here. So I'm thinking that I definitely want to add shelves right here. So that is going to be a priority. I think we're going to do that next week. I just have not decided just yet how I want it. So I need to kind of come in and revamp this a little bit so I know what I'm working with and I know what it is that I'm going to be putting up here so I can get a better idea of how I want that spacing to look. I open the back door, Kai needs to come. <laughs> okay, so other thing, our garage, absolute disaster. In fact, we're taking that to Kaylee today too. I hear thunder. I hear thunder. Okay, so let's do this quickly. Let me show you. So last time I left you guys, I had put a shade cloth over my dolly a bit. Oh, and it's starting to sprinkle a little bit. Okay, let's hurry. The saddest thing happened in the whole world. So we left for that weekend and this happened. While we were gone, my stakes that I had on either end right here completely gave out. The dahlia here and the dahlia there, the two that needed the most protection. Are you kidding me? The two that needed the most protection died. I was so bummed. So I just, I didn't bother fixing it, cause, honestly, because I wanted to show you guys what happened. But I'll go ahead and we'll fix that back up to at least protect this one right here. But man, that sucks so bad. However, look at the other dahlias are doing so good. They are absolutely thriving. Everything else is doing really good back here too. So yeah, but this right here is such a bummer. When we came home, I was like, are you kidding me? Tell me that did not happen. The two that absolutely needed the coverage the most were the two that were exposed. Just craziness. Look at how pretty is that? So good. Okay, I totally don't know where I left off with you. We just went out and talked to our pest control guy. <laughs> and then we just, we had, oh gosh, the ants outside are just absolutely nuts right now but anyhow he is going to take care of it and it's absolutely helping that we have uh rain coming because he's going to put granules down so yay for that okay here's the game plan for now we are going to clean up this desk area i want to go in and make my bed get some of that just like house stuff situated and then we are going to make some pillows some pillow covers and then later this afternoon we are going to take those to my daughter and i think we're going to hit up a thrift store one of my favorite thrift stores so i'm thinking she'll come with us too i hope so that is on the agenda <laughs> today so just kind of a catch-up day get some stuff done that I've been neglecting over these last several days because I am feeling so good like energy wise we're good to go my throat's a little bit sore but that's why we have this right here and I'm gonna stop talking now <laughs> Another quick update, <laughs> this, look at it. It's still standing strong. If you watched the last video, you know. <laughs> We're good there, I love it. It works beautifully. This right here are just notes of things I have to get done like ASAP. At some point over the next couple days, I will sit down and knock these out. I just didn't have the energy for it this last week, so when I had a thought, 
I wrote it down in <laughs> on a sticky and I just stuck it here. So I'll get to that stuff next week. But this right here, so this is just a little charger situation. This is just a Velcro little tabby thing and that works beautifully. I love it. But we are all cleaned up, nice and organized. So let's go make some pillow covers. Oh, and all the plants are doing really, really well. They are absolutely thriving. Look at these guys. Look at all the new growth happening. Love. This is still a situation because we took the middle part of that and shoved it on top of there. But this actually, we could take the branches and somehow get it to like kind of come together because these are pretty, pretty malleable. So I think that's what we're gonna end up doing and just figuring out how to kind of camouflage the ugly, but it kind of makes like a really cool mini tree. But I don't know, we'll see. That is not a priority right now. All right, let's sew. I've cut out all eight squares. We're making a total of four pillows. So I use the template because it's so much easier. I created them because measuring out each pillow, it was so hard to do it without the template. So I created the template, makes it so much easier. And I'm just using these zigzag scissors to help the ends from fraying. There's other ways to do it. This was the least expensive and definitely the easiest. So this is what I go with. You don't ever see the edges. That's what's gonna be inside the pillow anyways. I'm not selling these professionally, so I'm not worried about it, but the zigzag scissors definitely help. These are the sizes that I'm making. So Kaylee got 18 by 18 down pillow inserts. So it's about 17 inches. It's about a 17 inch square. So it's going to come out to about a 16 inch pillow. Again, I'm not a professional. It's about. <laughs> and this one right here, the bigger fabric, this fabric right here, which is my favorite. It is going to be, she got 26 inch inserts. So the square itself is 25 by 25 and it will make about a 24 or less inch pillow. Just kind of depends on how far I wanna go in. And then the material I'm using, this is like upholstery fabric, but it is still super soft. And then this is cotton, which is super soft. I've got my ironing board out because you can see that I definitely need to iron, especially the cotton. The upholstery fabric is much more forgiving, but I definitely need to iron out the cotton fabric and then we'll do our zipper placement. I'll figure out where I want the zippers to go. We'll pin those in and then we will get to sew in. Okay, I am going with an 18 inch zipper. So this is 25 inches and I think an 18 inch zipper will be just fine. You can probably go an inch or two bigger, but I also think that it might make your edges look a little bit funny, your corners. So I, I'm going with 18, I think that will be perfect. And then what I like to do, and here's the thing, this is not a tutorial. <laughs> I will post the video, I'll share it down below in the description box, the video that I learned how to do this. Because what I like to do is I will do just a, a stitch here, a regular stitch here to close that off, and then a basting stitch here. 
I'll add in my zipper and then we'll take that basting stitch apart and then your zipper like shows perfectly. So that is how I choose to do it. There are so many different ways to make a throw pillow cover but this is the way that works best for me. And I think it looks really pretty. Also, every single one of my pillows, even my lighter colored ones, like look it, like this one right here, they all have a black zipper. It's kind of like my signature thing, but this is what it is going to look like. So yeah. I think it's gonna be pretty and I love these patterns especially this one and this one together and you can see that this is inside out this is actually like it's black on that side but it really looks like this you absolutely could use this just like this too So this is the combination. Kaylee's sofa is black, black leather. So we are, oh, it's gonna look so good. These are the ones that I have. I threw these over here, move those. But oh, I love that palette, absolutely love. And then with the chairs over here, we were watching TV, that's why that's like that. But oh, <laughs> love it. Let me turn down the AC. It is 100 degrees out. It is so hot, but we are ready. Pillows there. We've got a pallet back there. Oh my goodness. Oh, and Kaylee's calling. Hold on. Hello? Phone tag. Oh my gosh. I am running so behind. No, that's actually perfectly fine because I, um, cleaning okay cool i have to put gas <laughs> so i'm gonna do that and then i'll be on no my rush. way no rush okay and i would like to go to the uh thrift store i don't know if you want to go with me you can play it by I ear yet. Depends on what time we finish okay things. perfect okay good i am about 20 minutes behind like it I just kept remembering other things. I was like, oh, the palette, and then, oh, the other things, but it's okay. It's gonna, it's all gonna work out just fine. <laughs> as I like being sick. <laughs> Such a waste of time. You know what else is a waste of time? Like things like going to the bathroom. Like, oh, they're necessities in life, but I'd rather be doing something else. <laughs> okay, Dallas bound. the vibe but I love what she has done to this room in here we got echo I brought him a bully that is what he is chowing on right there he's so cute so this is Kaylee's situation here these are the pillows right here and then her bathroom look at this oh I love we just zhuzhed up oh the camera works good without me having to turn the light on 
but we just judged up all of her little plants. But oh my gosh, I love it so much. So good, so good. These are the lamps that I had in my office forever. She just got different shades. Oh, it looks amazing. We're gonna work on this part. Um, different curtains, but for now they work. But yeah, it looks so good. And really, the vibe in here is just amazing. I am done. I spent so much time there. Longer than I had anticipated. And I am going to hustle over to the thrift store because I'm already on this side of town. Like, I might as well go, but they close in about 45 minutes. So, I got to get going. It's going to take about 15 minutes to get there. So, we got to hustle. <laughs> okay, I am back. I am actually home now because I talked too much. <laughs> My throat is a little bit sore. It's feeling better now that I drove home, but I was like, I don't want to go to the thrift store and be all coffee. So I am definitely happy to be home now. I have so much water to drink. So this is how I keep track of how much water I drink every day. So the goal is a gallon of water. And what I do, that means it's four of these. So every time I drink one, I move the rubber band up. And so now I can move this one up, but look at, it is about seven o'clock and I only have drank half my water for the day. That's rough. <laughs> so I am going to chug water for the next hour or so. Rob and I will eat dinner in just a little bit. Um, but I wanted to come home because what I want to do is I would like to tackle this area in here. This is laundry room. And I want to at least pick it up and get it somewhat organized. Like this needs to go out back into the garage. I think I've got a load in the dryer that I can take out, get this out of here. I need to put back, so I have a chair here because I needed to get to the ironing board and the iron. So I need to put those back and then take this out and just kind of straighten up in here. So I wanted to make sure that I got that done because it was the other thing that I wanted to check off the list today. I am very happy with this. It isn't perfect, obviously. We can still zhuzh some more, but a lot of what is like just kind of shoved back over there will be on shelves that we put here. So yeah, this, this works for me. I would also love at some point to enclose, like kind of encase the washer and dryer down the road, but I do want to get those shelves up in the next, I don't know, couple weeks maybe. We'll see, but that's the goal there. And then we can take some of what's on here and put it up high. But this makes me happy. And then when we turn it off, look it, it's just a vibe. I love an up light in a tree. <laughs> a lot of this stuff over here, like this, we just need to take down, throw away. It doesn't work. I have a new one that we will replace and hang on the wall. We've got 
Kai's vacuum hair brusher right here. And then I just have things in here. We'll buy a nice basket and put some of that stuff in. And again, we'll just have it up there on the shelves. We don't ever use this sink, so it's never a, a big deal. Um, but it'll be nice to kind of clean it up so we don't, it doesn't look so cluttery. officially in bed I'm talking a little bit quieter because my throat is on fire I pushed it today for sure so I am going to wrap it up here Rob made tri-tip for dinner tonight so we had tri-tip and broccoli so good and then I got a late workout tonight it's not something I like to do late at night for sure, but we are still going 75 hard strong. Today was day 55, so I am at the tail end. So we got to keep going and I'm very proud of that because I have not been feeling very good, but I'm still getting all the things done. In fact, I do have to read my 10 pages for tonight. Um, I'm reading Bethany Frankel's Business is Personal. Absolutely love it. My arms hurt from my workout. I did a my favorite trainer, which makes working out so much better. And her, it's Jen Jacobs, love her. Cycling is like my favorite thing and we did a cycle and strength training. So it was kind of like a two for one, but I needed to get in 45 minutes and the workout was 45 minutes, so it was perfect. But I have now showered. <laughs> I am going to lay in my cozy bed, read my book, and then it is lights out for me. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.